Okay. Hello. Um, welcome to the video. More or less, I'm just gonna talk about. More or less, I'm just gonna start with the fact that I was gonna do a birthday special, but unfortunately, um, kept messing up my recordings, and yeah, that yeah, that never really happened. My birthday video I wasn't gonna actually film my house it's just it's just gonna be something special more or less that's all I was gonna do by the way my birthday is in Halloween it's gonna be it was gonna be something cool but in the end I ended up doing nothing because yeah I, you know I kept messing up my video had other things happened the way they should have maybe there would be a birthday special but yeah it never happened. Anyway, enough with me babbling about my failed project. More or less, I want to talk about how more or less I noticed like a couple of weeks ago whenever I was returning again to this game. More or less the lack of players. Because back then I could not be in a game and have a wait time longer than like 10 minutes or actually no longer wait time than actually like two minutes because the longest time i ever had to wait for a game in you know in bed wars that was the longest time i ever had like two minutes one minute so the fact that you know they come back and then there's like half of the amount of people actually like there's like 60,000 people back then. Now there's only like, what, like a third? Because there's only like 18,000, 20,000 at most in these days. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. Basically, that's what caught my attention. Because back then, you could not be in a game and not expect it to work. Because of the lack of players. Now that's just a problem. Which I would actually like to find out. Because. I have not been in the game. For a little bit of a while. I mean. I have lots of things to do. Lots of work. To get off. Right now I'm on break. And that's why. More or less. I can make a video without being too worried although I still have some things to do but anyway enough of my work basically in that time I did not look at the game for the longest time and okay I'm trying to focus a little bit what the hell how Anyway, so I was saying, I was gone for this game for quite a while. And I have basically not done much. And yeah, more or less in terms of things that I know, I don't know what's happened as to why, like, there's not as much players as back then and whatnot. I don't know if there's been any fiascos lately concerning Bachman Go, but my theories is that since I have no knowledge, but I have knowledge about the game, either there's been too many hackers and more or less 
um, well, yeah, pretty much too many hackers and too many people getting their hacks, I mean, their accounts hacked, that people have started to stop playing the game out of fear, and they just leave the game because, you know, you don't want your personal information stolen. So that's one of my theories. Another theory is that, you know, like too many pros, there's just way too many good people now that it is hard for newer players to, you know, get good before they get destroyed by the pros and they leave the game because it was too hard for them. That's another theory. My other theory is that that's really like, what, two theories? My other one is the fact that there's been way too many people with, like, you know, like, infinite gold cubes or something. Because there are TNT users. There's probably, like, too many of those. Or too many, like, trolls in the game. That, more or less, people got tired of getting trolled. Of course, I don't really know. Since I haven't been in the game for quite a long time and I don't really get news from the game. I don't have their, like, Facebook account. So I don't really know much about them. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How? How? I'm using Wi-Fi. <coughs> I could have won the game. Anyway... As I was saying, look at that amount of people. 19,000. That's nothing compared to what was back then. Back then, there was like at least 60 to 50,000. I think at one point, there was like 70,000 players. But daily, there was never this low. I don't know why. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's that one. Uh, Bed Wars, then there's Skyblock, that one used to have like 10,000 players daily. Jailbreak 2, they also had like 20 to 10,000 people daily. Paradise Island, I don't really know that much about. Realm City, I know that one had like 5,000 people daily, but I could be wrong since I never really paid attention to that game. Build and Shoot, that one had like 10,000 people daily. Like around that area. WWE School Simulator. That one had like. I'd say 5,000 people daily. Not that many. But not too little. That one also had like 7,000 and 10,000 people daily. The Hero Tycoon. And Snowman Defender. That one has taken one of the hardest hits. That one used to have like. At least 2,000. Uh, at. I'd say 5,000 people daily. Now it's only like <laughs> a couple hundred. You can see on the screen. Basically, <laughs> it's total chaos for me. I don't know what, what has happened at all. It's interesting for me. I could research this and probably find out, but. Don't expect me to like make a video about it because pretty sure there's someone out there that's already covered it. Anyway, my last theory is that there's been way too many bots and people were probably getting mad at Buckman Go because there's way too many bots. Because you can tell what a bot is inside of Bad Wars because they always had like good stuff. Like diamonds, emeralds, uh, bows, and a lot of good stuff. And they haven't even touched any other island. And they barely moved. And like I don't know if there still is, cause I'm I'm not, I don't have like a newbie account. But I can tell you for sure that back then there was a lot of bots. Like, it didn't matter if you were going against, like, the highest rank back then. It was like, I don't remember what, it was a purple rank. I don't, re I don't remember if it was Champion League 
something like that. I don't remember. But even if you're in that rank, if you went normally, like 4v4s, there's a chance that you're going to fight a full team of bots. But of course, my other reasoning is that a compilation of all of my theories kind of like made the downfall of this game. I know I, I've said like this is one of the best games I've played. It really is. If you have an alternative game to play, this seems like a copy of a game. But in reality, it's it's a pretty game. It's a pretty good game in its own. If you give it a chance. Some of the players are toxic, yeah. But how have you not encountered another game who has not toxicity? I mean, I could also play other games that are popular, like World of Tanks. That's that's a pretty popular game. Um, Clash of Clans, I, I suck at it. Clash Royale, which I also suck at it. Like, there, there's a lot of games that I could be playing. I would still suck at them, but I'm pretty sure other people would enjoy. Oh God! Oh my God! And I almost choked on my spit. Sorry. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure others would enjoy me making this these kinds of videos about those other games. Anyway, this is the end of the video. It was just me just more or less thinking about what's been happening to the game. Or I guess one of my other things is that probably the game has just lost its, I guess, more or less, what would it be? It's, it's players, not because it sucks, but because other players have finally figured out that there are other games that are just as good, if not better than this one. And they've moved on from this game. And I guess that's a sad thing to think about, but I guess it's more like an eventuality that this game will lose its players. And I guess it's happening now. Excuse me. Of course, I don't know everything. I would research it on my own time, but for now, I have other things to do. But anyway, if you like this video, maybe like and subscribe if you want to, you know, watch more content of mine. Anyway, this has been a good time for me, just thinking about what's happened, happening to the game. Anyway, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.